It's the T-Rex 550X tail assembly. A little bit different just in one perspective. Um, the tail hub on the T-Rex 550 has uh, one pinch area and one place for a shorter bolt. This will be readily apparent what I'm talking about here in a second. So we slide this over the end, manipulate the gears around until we get it. Plastic anti-rotation bracket goes in here for lightweight. If I move this out of the way for a second, the lower bolt on the 550 is shorter than the top bolt because the top bolt is actually going to pinch the two parts together and the lower part is just going to, the lower bolt is just going to secure um, the tail fin in place. And we'll go ahead and put this together. Get this with my driver. Okay, reach underneath and clip the ball link back in place. Okay, so the 550X is assembled with the three blade rotor. I've got the lightweight plastic uh, rear fin support here and these lighter weight um, tail support rods. So they really worked a lot to move, remove weight from the rear of the helicopter giving you more room to balance stuff in the front. The T-Rex 550X does come stock with a 600 size tail boom. So just be aware that with the 600 size tail boom and drive shaft you cannot use the 550 speed fuselage. The 550L came with a 550 size uh, tail boom. The 550X is running the 600 which just lets you run longer blades if you choose. Just an important tip, you can't get the speed fuselage on this. I figured that out because I tried. Okay, next we're going to go and set up the rest of the electronics. We'll be right back.